what kind of injunction you have prayed temporary injunction what kind of to restrain the defendants to enter the suit property and to alienation and this fraud activity has been continued by the influentials since the death of my father in 1998 my father died in 1998 and from 1999 this evil nexus of people they targeted our house and they disposed us 10 times my widow mother and sister had been disposed of my own house the pain of the district judge surprisingly stops prior to mentioning of the enquiry held by the district register you are appealing in person what is the matter about my lord if the learned court cannot deliver justice against the influentials and for the innocent victims then who shall then who shall my lord what is the suit about my lord where should i begin if your lordship may no, kindly no, have a don't begin this is a motion court you are misconception this is an order of appeal appealable order you have challenged the order and in refusal of the interim order of yes my lord this is an appealable order no my lord suit is pending you are appeal are you a law graduate my lord uh, uh, learned advocates have duly checked it and according to their suggestion i have filed it oh this is a misappeal ad interim order sorry yes, yes where is the order of the trial court at the back my lord Order dated sixth of August, passed by the Lanet District Judge South Chobish Pargana. That is must be it must be from the order of the trial judge. Yes, arising out Where of the title order? suit. Where is that order? It is annexed at page number. I should not say. annex with it. Yes, annexure will not do. Requirement is the certified copy. Certified copy is given at the back. Order dated sixth of August, passed 6th by the Lanet. Sixth of August is the appeal court order. What about that? Is the challengeable order? that is the impugned order the rule is you are required to bring the certified copy of both the orders means trial court had refused your prayer for ad interim injunction the appeal court also right what is the suit number title suit number 540 540 you prayed for an ad interim order of injunction yes by which order it was refused By the order dated twenty second July of the junior division. Yes, that is why that certified copy. That was given in the miss appeal. But the rule is you have to. I don't know. No, I have the certified copy along with me, but it was not told by the filing section to file. Not the filing. Only the challenge. Not the filing section will tell. I am not expecting you must be knowing for that. I have it with me, ma'am. Give it. Yes, my lord. Please. Wanting certified copy. Only the misappropriation. Have you got a copy of it with you? Yes, my lord. Order dated twenty second July. Wanting certified copy of the. The prime officer case is about that. Don't jump into prime officer case. So tell me. It is for. Declaration and permanent injunction. What kind of declaration you are? Declaration of the, my right to claim to the title, interest. And uh, injunction against. Where is the plaint? Where is the plaint? Plaint I have. Tell me part of the revisional application. Plaint, plaint. Pla injunction application is part of the revisional application. And I want to see the plaint. Copy of the plaint. Plaint, my lord. I am not currently having. I can in the next hearing give you. I thought it's only injunction application. Oh, yeah, as you said, the prima facie case. Yes. Court. But same, my lord. The plaint yeah. and the injunction application. Exactly same. Not that civil court is go by a very good technicalities. It requires years to gather it together. Therefore, the from the plaint, plaint the prima facie case would be gathered. Therefore, I need to see because you are on ad interim order of injunction. What kind of injunction you have prayed? Temporary injunction. What kind of? to restrain the defendants to enter the suit property and to alienation sell out or how like they are interested in the suit property they are the new new purchasers they have fraudulently purchased the suit property and this fraud activity has been continued by the influentials since the death of my father in 1998 my father died in 1998 and from 1999 This evil nexus of people, they targeted our house and they disposed us ten times. Ten times, I along with my widow mother and sister had been disposed of my own house. 
and my lord if you kindly have a look at the impugned order dated 6th august you shall see the pain of the district judge surprisingly stops prior to mentioning of the enquiry held by the district register the only document that they are claiming is the sell deed registered in execute who has executed it sell the respondents in my this uh, revision of application whom they have purchased this they are the third purchaser they have purchased from onu they, they have purchased from construction company it was sold to construction company we have suffered the torments of the construction company for since 2018 no, no, they have broken my father, walls your father your father was the owner of the property no my father was everything is fraud that's what i had written in your the prime father had a title over the property my father is the only son he is the legal heir i am the legal heir and by forged will the entire property was given from my grandfather to grandmother but no right of alienation was given neither my grandmother was the absolute owner but Hence, this was this was you contested the your father contested the suit my father died who contested the nobody probate contested probate, probate. this is the first time i am entering the court probate probate nobody contested you did not you i have the probate copy my your lordship would like yes, to see no, no. the certified copy i just got it slowly last get, week slowly try to get the get into the fact yes it was whose property or it was the land was bought by my grandfather but my father being the eldest brother my father had two younger sisters both of them married so my father constructed the house with his income and my mother's income but as things happen in the family he never thought that i should put it in my name he put it in my grandfather's name mutated in kmc very well then after the marriage my father's two younger sisters they started conspiracy they already had another property at behala this is not the issue we so they forged the will by which of a forged will it was entire property was given to whom to my grandmother to your grandmother the grandmother's will was been probated probated and probate what was in the prayer that grandmother has oh, to obey the will wait now in the probate proceeding your father was alive when the probate was taken out probate was granted in the year i shall state you the exact year and date 1997 your yes, father was alive, alive. and alive. his his signature was forgedly taken he did not know about probate don't, don't be so fast then in the probate your father was cited no some uh, consent was taken he was not present in the court so as your lordship you, can see wait, the papers wait 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 by consent this was granted the probate was granted yes now when he came to learn that his consent was forged he did not came to learn in his lifetime no then uh, now you have because in his have, lifetime have you have you challenged or reopened the probate proceeding i shall because till the, date have you i cannot my lord because i cannot spend a single night in my house by sleeping and recently khoshkara dekhiyeche tv te recently they came again told me janwar and all the bad things and police is not helping where no. how should i file it i need some peace of mind no, no. work the peace of mind will not give you anything this will not be coming from but one thing unless you challenge the probate the probate on the grant of probate title vest to the beneficiaries first executor then beneficiaries if it is excluded and given to your grandmother is still alive no now after the death of grandmother the grandmother also executed a will my lord grandmother probate, if if for the sake of this case if i consider the probate is okay also still in the probate itself there was no right of alienation was given no right to sell then how the property please, is being sold please concentrate on your since you are not a lawyer i am allowing your allowing you to too much my in my court the time is 3 minutes yes my lord tell me after your the death of your grandmother uh, in the absence of any probate or any will property must go to a portion maybe your uh, sister of your father's father uh, two sisters they will be getting a portion your mother and you are also entitled to get something have you 
have you applied for that or have you are you or no, any before anything of that the proportion of the property is being sold by the name of the grandmother oh in the sale deed that's what i'm saying my lord in the grandmother sale grandmother has grandma told it. Grandmother, grandmother is grandmother did not sell it grandmother is declared as the absolute owner by the influential person but she under not the probate if the grandmother gets everything he is is absolute she was wait then it has been sold to the promoters now to whom it has been sold it has been sold to some party who are they first party was the one who they then construction company they are the parties to the suit no uh, i filed a writ petition in the january in the honorable calcutta high court stating everything now from there separate cases are to be made and this is with the latest purchaser it's difficult very difficult so it's very simple they not is, very you may we put it in a simple way this is not way you are putting it this latest purchaser if the, the probate stands if the probate stands the you cannot challenge without the notice to the other side your petition cannot be court has only refused at interim prayer he has directed you to sub notice no it is already contested in the junior division court at the at interim prayer in the court the in prayer. the first court it is rejected on contest upon the respondents in the first issue court. upon respondent this is a, at interim refusal 4th september was the date fixed what happened on 4th september what happened i was waiting for appeared? this other side did not appear no no i did not appear i was waiting for this revisional application but why didn't you appear on 4th september it is your i appeal. did not serve copy i already filed the revisional application that does not mean please don't please try to follow the procedure the court has refused your ad interim prayer and directed to iff service you have not taken the steps for service of notice no you have to take steps go there and take steps mm. Ashun. But then, my lord, what about the mistakes that being carried on? That the trial court will decide. Do one thing: you serve the copy of this, but take steps in the court below. Since I have taken, it is already rejected on contest. I are you not, not following? I do not think any please, further hope is there. In the appeal court. Yes. Appeal court, you will not take steps. I shall go there. Take steps. But at least, my lord, some relief needs to be no, given. No, not at this stage. No, not at this stage, Ashun. The what you can do, you please sub the copy of the application. Let them come if they come, but it will delay the disposal of your appeal. I am directing the appeal court below to expedite the disposal of the appeal. please put in the requisite for service it is only the ad interim order has been refused my lord can i be permitted to say one thing yes the respondents are not scared of the alipur court they are scared of the honorable calcutta high court this is the only test of yours that is the problem my lord because alipur bar association ex secretary is involved huh? he is the person who made those 